Hello, welcome to All Pro Football 2K8 APF Franchise. Just a reminder, we're going into Season 5 of this franchise. There's going to be some changes. A lot of the teams in this series are going to be changing names. Um, I'm going to go through that right now. Um, the Eagles will be the Condors. Um, one of the teams is going to be called the Flight. Uh, the Dolphins become the Bullheads. Um, the Bears become the Violence. Um, another team is called the Revenge. Uh, the Ironmen become the Metal. Let's see if there's any other ones. Um, another team becomes the... Or actually, I think the Crusaders become... Uh, the Iron Man become the Crusaders, and then I have another team called the Metal. And then the Lions become the Walleyes because they're part of Minneapolis, and that's their state uh, fish. So some of the teams did change names. They have really cool uniforms, in my opinion. But let's get into our roster. There's a lot of changes. Let's go position by position here. Quarterback. We don't have Neve Watts anymore. Uh, he... We, I know we won a championship with him, but he's been underperforming horribly as our first round pick from a few years ago. I believe it was their first offseason. Supremely, supremely... Uh, a, a bust. Other than... Um, the one thing he did do good um, was the fact that he could truck and that he could run with his feet very well. The main issue he had was the fact that even though he had arm strength for days, he could not put the ball where I wanted it most of the time. He either overthrowed it or underthrew it a lot. Well, actually, he never really underthrew a ball. He wasn't like Clem Bonula's in the first season, if you guys were there in the first season. Where Clem Benulas was a free agent quarterback that we got for like one year after, before we drafted Neve Watts. And he had a horrible season too. Um, but his issue was, wasn't was the fact that he would overthrow balls. His problem was he would underthrow absolutely everything. So everything would just go right into the dirt. And it was a huge, huge problem. Well, here we drafted Jonathan O'Connell. He's Bryce O'Connell's uh, team, uh, not teammate, sorry, brother. Um, uh, Bryce O'Connell played with the Patriots, who are now at the medal. Sorry about that. With Bryce O'Connell at quarterback. Well, we have his uh, middle brother. He's actually known as one of the least athletically gifted and, and uh, amazing quarterback. He's like the third best quarterback in the family. But I'll show you his stats here. So he went to Vanderbilt, he's number 11. He's faster than his brother Bryce, with 78 speed. Um, he's still more of a pocket passer, but he can scramble when he wants to. He has really low arm strength, which is kind of a theme in their family, but he definitely has the lowest arm strength. His read coverage isn't that great because he did play more of a spread offense in college. Um, his break tackle is really not that high. And then pass accuracy is 82. Um, so he's as accurate as Neve Watts with less throw power. And he has 70 uh, pocket composure. So if he gets pressured, he's kind of screwed. Um, but he is a scrambler, so he can run away from some things. But yeah, Jonathan O'Connell isn't that amazing. Now, I'm going to show you who's all on this team. And then I'm going to show you where the older, like our our championship winning uh, key players on offense and stuff went to. So next is uh, Calvin McWilliams at running back. Um, this is actually very special to me. He was a former franchise player in one of my old franchises back in the day. He played with Angel Akins. Um, and he shares a lot of the same abilities with him too. Other than he has 96 speed with less agility than Angel. Um, obviously, he's not gonna break a lot of tackles. He's not gonna juke a lot of people out. But he's six foot three, 228, 
and he runs with a finesse style. He has breakaway, burst, and cutback ability. Um, he's an extremely fast player. Not as fast as Houston Witt with 99 speed, 99 agility. But Calvin McWilliams does have a chance to make some big plays in this league and on this team. Now let's go to someone who's really special to me. Mike Clark, who went to Troy State. We lost a uh, big boy, Steve Wyatt. Um, Clark is 5'11", 223. He's more of a balanced back. He's more what Angel Aikens is, but way less talented. With 88 speed, 80 agility, almost 70 strength. Um, you know, 82 break tackle. He has breakaway burst and power. Uh, but what makes him so special is that if you see the YT on his last name, he's the first player in this franchise. And he's actually the reason why I want to do this. So before I was going to do this season five, I was taking a break from this. Uh, I was going to replace this with my NFL 2K21 um, franchise. I'm still doing that franchise, but a guy like really enjoyed this and also shared this name, Mike Clark. So I decided to make him. Um, and so the YT means that I got his name from YouTube. If you're part of the Discord, put uh, if you give me uh, names to put in for whether it's this one, my Legends League, you know, uh, or maybe give me trade ideas for my APF 2K21 league. Um, if you get it in the Discord, if you put like the names of these players in the Discord, I'll put a DS at the end name. If you put it in the YouTube, I'll put a YT in there. Um, but yeah, so he's the first player to ever be suggested to me, Mike Clark from YouTube. I'm super excited to use him. He's my backup running back. And with uh, Jonathan O'Connell, um, I get him confused with his other brother, uh, Brandon O'Connell, who is another quarterback who I'm going to be putting in this league at some point. But um, anyway, with him being even worse than Sellers, but Sellers isn't really that great. I really use O'Connell. Um, even though I, I, we still have some good receivers, I'm getting to the biggest uh, change in this team on offense. Um, I'm going to have to run the ball more, so to have two decent running backs is a big deal to me. Now, here's the biggest change on offense. Hilton Kasky is gone. He's gone. He's with a different team. Um... We lost him. We only ha we only traded him on his last year, and he decided not to stay since we won the championship. And he felt uh, pressure on the coach. Uh, the coach was told that he they needed to save more money, and Kasky wanted too much, so we had to let go Kasky. But we got Michael Ingram, who is a former first round receiver, I believe, either for the Calvary or for the Hawks. I can't really remember. It might have been the Seahawks. I can't remember, but um, he's he he's been a bust so far. Uh, he is Randy Moss basically. Uh, if you look, six foot five, one eighty. He's a thin he's a thin guy. He's a thin guy. Um, but he has ninety six speed, ninety three agility, uh, less on strength, super high jump, uh, lower run route, and he has lower catching. Um, just to make him like you know. Not super overpowered. He has acrobatic catches, bump mass, bump buster, hops, and soft hands. Um, he's great. I've, I've played with him a little bit. He's amazing. Um, but he's no Hilton Kasky. Kasky would make some of the most insane catches for us. And Ingram is probably just not going to do that. But we really need to have a really, really good receiver still. Now our defense. Not much has changed. Uh, Busamante got put down to a bronze because he's not nearly as good as he used to be. Um, we got him when he was a gold. And he's just getting really up there in age. Stokes is not a bronze anymore, but he is a copper. Holton's still there. We still got Clay Gerwin. Uh, he's probably more on after last year's play, which he did play well, but he did give up some really big run or big uh, plays in the air. So, Clay Gruen might be on the second half of his career, so I might have to start putting him down. But, 
Um, he's amazing. Uh, Ray gets boosted up here because he had an amazing season last year. So amazing. Former corner at safety. He had an amazing season. Probably his best in his career so far. Um, but other than that, the Wolves team has not changed. Well, it's changed a lot on offense. But on defense, it hasn't changed much. So let's see where these former uh, Wolves legends go here. So Hilton Caskey goes to the Connor Grimm led Calvary. Connor Grimm, as you, I don't know if you guys have been here with me long enough. He was a former first round pick. He's slow with only 60 speed. I'm actually going to give him 50. Four. Um, pack strength is 88. Uh, that's, you know, top, at least top 15 in the league. So he has decent arm uh, strength. He, he, uh, he reads the coverage very well. His accuracy is one of the highest in the league with 91. He has lower pocket composure. But it's also because for the last few years, He's been the most sacked quarterback every year, other than Neve Watts, but Watts is a little different because he got himself in trouble. But he also still has Adam Thomas, the best tackle in the league. He's the only tackle I'll keep at 96 strength. Um, he's the best tackle in this league. He's insane. He he got drafted in the, in the year after Grimm was picked. Um, it's because the left side and stuff gives up a lot. But they did upgrade their guards with Tobin uh, last year. Well, now, instead of just have Edward Mancy, who's old, uh, former great receiver in the league, he's got Hilton fucking Caskey. Six foot five, 93 speed, 98 run route, you know, 99 catching, good run blocking, acrobat catch, breakaway burst, bump, buster, clutch, hops, goal line dives, deep threat, route guard, quick feet, possession receiver, miss a third down, soft hand, stop on a dime, tough in the middle. Basically, he is Antonio Brown, Julio Jones, and Megatron all in one player. He's the best receiver in this league, hands fucking down. Now, he may be on the sec, even though it says he's young here, he's been in the league for a while. Um, so, this may be, like, he might be reaching his prime now, which is scary, but it also means that, you know, for Connor Grimm, he might only have a few more years of Caskey being a game destroyer and not just a solid player. Um, next, we're going to look at Angel Aikens, who's one of my favorite players of any franchise ever. He went to the Bullheads down in Florida. Aikens, got, uh, he had a really good season, but his knee injuries are starting to pile up on him. Uh, He's gone a little slower with 87 speed, um, but he's still one of the best running backs in this league with branching tackles, breakaway burst, leadership bonus, magic feet, finesse and power, durability bonus, secure, secure ball bonus, stop on a dime, tough as nails, workhorse. He's still a workhorse running back at 235, 11. He might need to lose some weight. Uh, he's not a gold anymore. He is a silver, but he is great. Uh, I got him from one of my franchises years ago, uh, one of my first best ones. They still have Al Frills at quarterback. He had a good season in first year. Uh, he's probably one of the best overall quarterbacks in the league when it comes to throw power, read coverage, and accuracy. Um, so the Bullheads looking like their offense is on fire while their defense is shriveling up to nothing, even though just a few years ago it was one of the best defenses in the league. Uh, only a couple more to go. Uh, Wyatt goes... Is it this team? Yes, it is. He goes... Steve Wyatt goes to the flight here. He's starting for them. 73 speed still. He's a big boy. 5'8", 240. Doesn't have any of this. Um, if anything, I'll give him uh, power. Uh, branching tackles. We'll give him uh, branching tackles battering ram. Since he's slower and bigger. Uh, he has really good strength. For uh, He's the only running back I'll leave at 99 strength. I've added a lot of different attributes to this league. Where all offensive and defensive linemen have. at uh, Not lowest. But they have an average of 80. So like there are some. The highest uh, strength on defense is a guy who has 90. But everyone else has like 88, 85. 
uh, especially 80s. Um, and then on the offensive line, same deal. Uh, the only person that I've left at really high strength is Thomas. But here, so Wyatt is on the flight here. Who? They have Ezra Starr, who still isn't that great. Okay, so then, so the flight here, I mean, Star isn't that great, but they do have uh, Maria, Maria, Maria? Uh, Carl, who's a good receiver, and uh, our former receiver, Quinn Darnell, um, and Kirkland, too, at tight end, which is really good. Um, is there one more player? I believe so. The last player, this is funny, Neve Watts is on the Firebirds. He's still a bronze. He's a bust, though, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so, we all know, you know, 86 speed, decent strength, good jumping, great athlete, 70 break tackle, 80 pass accuracy, pocket post for 77, um, 96 pass strength, which was for a long time the best in the league. Now is overtaken by Terrence Thompson. Uh, Terrence Thomas, I forget why I named him. Um, he still has all of his stuff here. But he's with the Firebirds, which is funny because look who's backup is. Clem Barnulis, who started, who had an okay year. But they decided to sign Neve Watts in the offseason. Uh, Duncan has been underrated for a long time at running back. Um, super excited to get this game going. Um, let's look at their defense. Yeah. Nothing really, except for uh, Justin Jones, who's a former first-round pick, who's amazing at middle linebacker. But other than that, uh, that's the changes in the league so far. Uh, I know it's not as much as it usually is, and I know I didn't do a draft this year. Um, I haven't done a draft actually the last two years. It just, it takes a lot of time, and I've kind of ran out of names. I had only a, a, enough names for like two seasons. I still have a few, but I don't have enough to do so this is what I'm going to say here if you're still here listening to this video for next season for next season put in names for a draft uh, uh, give me their names their numbers their position um, their weights even if you want um, and, and especially tell me what type of running back they are because Mike Clark I was just given the name and the number which is fine but I, I saw like a more of a balanced back who can cut but like can't, I would say almost like an Arian Foster but like slightly less athletic uh, so who, someone who can power through tackle still but has like vision um, that's what I thought of him as but please for next season for seasons beyond this for this series to keep going I need more names, so put it in the YouTube comments, the Discord, if you're part of uh, the Discord that um, I'm a part of with APFE. Um, you could look through, through King Jabo's videos, he probably should have it. Um, you know, YouTube, King, uh, uh, Discord, just you know, put down names and positions and you know what type of player they are. and Because I, I want to fill this league with your players. So please, uh, do that, leave a like on this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully with either this video, with, uh, with, uh, APF Franch Fictional Franchise, or with APF 2K21. I'll see you guys then. Bye.